My dear student, welcome to my online class. Oh, farewell by the grace of Almighty. Today I am going to discuss about Chapter 5, Agricultural Production. Chapter 5, Agricultural Production. Agricultural production means the production of crops, domestic animals, pears and fish. So the productions are related to the process of producing crops, domestic animals, rearing of the domestic animals and pears and fish. In this chapter, there will be discussion on grains, maize and corn, and floriculture, which is related to the cultivation of flower, tea pros and marigolds, and the fruit cultivation, guava and papaya among agro-based production, and that which is related to the agriculture productions we will discuss in this chapter. Disease management, harvesting crops, and later physiculture and disease management. Later, we will discuss about the physiculture means controlling on breeding or bearing of a fish. And faulty rearing and disease management, chicken, livestock production system, and disease management have been discussed. Finally, I told on how to maintain the income and expenditure debit credit record and acro based production has been conveyed. Lesson 4 Cultivation process of marigold. Marigold is a very popular in our country, and flower is very popular in our country. But cultivation of this type of flower is very easy. This flower can be grown in yard or tough in a parent. Marigold is in a festival, celebration, home, deco home decorations for making the garland, color, structural variety, and graceful of this flower attract the people of all classes. And we can produce this type of flowers in yard or and tough in a variety. And also we use this type of flowers in our different type of festivals and uh, decorating our houses or making the bread. And this colorful structure of variety and graceful of this flower attract all type of people. Um, bleeding from the owns, stuck in the fluid from the leaves of the marigold flowers is used on the owns of the body. And when you have been hot, fluid of these marigold flowers and variety identification to a species the marigold are grown in Bangladesh, a African marigold and plant of the spices grew about 100 cm tall and blossom and monocolored, monocolored lost flowers. Blossom means the state of period of flowering and monocultured loss. African marigold plant of the species grew about 100 cm tall and blossom the monocolored lost flowers. According to the variety of flowers and to take the color of yellow, golden and light orange. And the African marigolds is being a tall about 100 centimeter and the process of flowering and will be the last flower that the flower will be the last and there will be the different type of color colors yellow gold golden and light orange and french marigold the plant of this is grow 10 to 15 centimeter tall and sturdy bushy and flower bloom in the small size and take the red color and the front marigold is tall is 15 10 to 15 centimeter but this will be the bushy and fuzzy but this is in a small size and take the red color that will be the red color seedlings production plant of marigold can be developed from the seed through the grafting and bronze and we can produce this type of flowers from the seed and also through the grafting and bronze grafting means plus plant living tissue as a craft from the stem during the rainy season, seeds are sown thinly and those seeding is produced. Uh, at the time of the rainy season, we produce wheat, seeds of these flowers and seed bed of the marigold and should be made as a vegetable seed bed. We will have to make it look like the vegetable seed bed. One month old seedlings is suitable for plantation. The age of the young plant will be the one month. It will be suitable for plantation. But the plowing plant through the branch grafting and the plant should be selected after the process. For grafting, we will have to select the strong plant to grafting. From the branch 2.5 cm wide, 10 to 10, 5 to 10 cm long fur should be cut up. Then we will have to cut up from this strong tree from 2.5 cm wide and 5 to 10 cm long fur should be cut. And the cut of the branch should be implanted in the mixture of the sand and loamy soil in the shady place. Then we'll have to write in a shady place. I will have to plant them in a shady place and it should be implanted in a such a way that at least node of the branch will remain under the crown. Numerous rows and boughs and branches will be grow out of 
it and it is a not set regularly in the rainy season the branch should be cut off from the implanted branch and should be rotted again in the same way in the month in a month and when countless drought grows in them and they should be planted so in the month of rainy season so we will have to grab, make a craft and sow and plant in the soil and then it will be a cross a countless road plant preparation and plantation high and low me field is the best for miracle cultivation soil has to be made and granular and by flowing and five, four to five times and by harvesting it is better to plant in saplings at the end part of the rainy season in the main field distance between the rows between should be 60 cm one plant should be 45 cm far from another plant it is in case of plantation in tufts short type of marigold is a select the distance from one marigold to another marigold seedlings from 60 cm to 45 cm from one and another and we'll have to cultivate the short type of marigold plant when we want to plant in the in the tufts application of fertilizer During the last tilling for a breed a similar plant, 40 kg of compost cow dung manure, 1 kg urea, 0.8 kg, TSP 0.7 kg, and MOF should be mixed well 1 to 1.5 when at the plantation. Only urea rate of 0.7 kg should be utilized. So during the last of a breed a similar 40 kg of compost cow will have to use the decomposed cow dung manure and 1 kg urea 80 kg 0.80 kg tsp 0.70 kg me we should be used and mixed we will have to use in 1 to 1.5 month after plantation of urea at least 0.7 decimal should be utilized after mixing the fertilizer properly the land should be irrigated in case of planting tufts and tufts should be prepared well by the mixing Mix in 250 grams decomposed cow dung manure with urea, TSP, MOF. One teaspoon is preferably for each stalk, and one to one point half month and after the plantation, one teaspoon urea should be used again. Inter nursing when the plant are young weeds and should be cleared out regularly. That we will have to uh, uh, clear all type of weeds and which is grow in the Field. and considering the fluid situation of the soil one to two irrigation is enough but it is a better to irrigate after blossom to get more flowers the tip of the plant should be cut off and when the plant grows a little bigger for this bow and brands grow more resulting in more flowering the bamboo force should be fixed with the plant so that storm wind irrigation weight of the flower cannot be tip the plant over this is pest management harmful insect are not seen to that of the medical flower plant that pass but bacteria will disease can cause us the plant dry up from the top grazulia one stays the whole plant and dry us to dry up and to prevent this affected plant should be picked out and burnt up so there is a no act uh, no effect of the disease with bacteria affected so that is why we'll have to affected trees uh, picked out and burnt it up and flower plucking a medical flower should be plucked along with this and the bells With the seeder, and if his pentacles is a little longer flowers and remain fresh for the longer period, and after procuring flower, what is should be sprinkled on the flower should be sent to the market after being wrapped in a black polythene. Lesson five: Cultivation process of guava. Guava is a popular food in Bangladesh, and guava is vital source of vitamin C. So this is very popular in the rural Bengal. And this important source of the vitamin C. This fruit grows more and less among everywhere in Bangladesh, but it is cultivated commercially in Borishal, Pirishpur, Chalokati, Chitagong, Kumila, etc. But it is a pro- we will see them everywhere in Bangladesh, but commercially produced in Pirishpur, Chalokati, Chitagong, Kumila, etc. And in Bangladesh, we get many types of guava. Among them, Kansan Nagar, Shoda Pokti, Mokanda Puri, Taji Piara. Bari Piara two, Bari Piara three, and varieties are important. So, guava is a drought-tolerant plant, and it is can be grown in a various type of soil, and it can be bear with a slight salinity in the field, fertility and deep loam is soil, and good for the commercial production. So, we can produce in very sandy places.
very and to produce the more fit making guava saplings are safely planted between the june and september for planting seedlings 60 cm the hole will be the 60 cm into 60 cm into 60 cm weight and breadth and height holes are dug at the 4 meter into 4 meter distance from one to another soil from the super 30 cm part of the hole is kept on one side the soil from the lower 30 cm part will be kept on the other side then the soil of the upper part is put at the bottom. The hole is filled with the lower part soil after being properly mixed with the 5 to 7 KSCT compost card and many. 200 gram GSP, 150 gram MOP is kept in the condition for the 10 to 15 days. Plantation of seedling. Seedlings are made from the seeds and gutti grafting. Seedling from the seeds and gutti grafting are planted in the middle of the hole. The plant should be tied to a bamboo post to avoid tightening to protect it from the cattle, bamboo, maid case and fence should be set around the plant. Otherwise it will be a face any problems and it will be destroyed by the domestic animals. Application of fertilizer. The fertilizer used in a three equal in a stolen in the February, May and September. Gobi yields very well. It is not that Fertilizer should be given just the root of the plant. Rather, it should be mixed properly with the soil and should be extended up to the area where the bowels and branches are spread. Irrigation is required after the use of fertilizer. So, after using the fertilizers in the blend of guava field, and then we'll have to give the irrigation. The amount of fertilizer according to the use of each plant, cow dung, urea, TSP, and MOP. And nursing, after collecting the pros from the adult tree and branches should be in the August and September. The branches are cut off and new branches grow and produce the more crops. To keep the tree pros yielding alloys to get the quality pros 25 to 50 percent. Pros should be reaped at the tender stage. At the time of bearing pros, if irrigated and if irrigated intermittently after every seven to ten days and during the month of April and zone, the pros production increase. This is pest management. Sometimes the guava plants are attacked by the frogal disease. For disease, tiny spots are seen on the body of the fraud and later they become the bigger creating sore in the guava. At these frauds and get cracks on them make it rotten. The prevent this disease and pollen leaves and fruits should be collected from them beneath and the tree and be borne down. Protease and mixture of the 250 EC chills and with the water ratio of the 0 0.5 ml. One liter water should be sprayed and three to four times and after the 15 days at the bottom of the affected plant. Fruit collection, gazipiara and baripiara and produce and pros and twice a year. When it is the time for the frost to refill, it green color is really turn to the yearish green. Fruit production varies different on to the A's and spices and tree of four to five years only yielding to the 15 to 20 kc fruits. So your homework is and do that creative question number one and write down the your e coffee and submit to the Google Classroom. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you.